In this video, I'm going to share with you a principle that is not only going to help you in Madden 21, but it's probably the foundational principle that I would encourage you to not only take to offense, but also defense in this game. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now, if this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become the best Madden player that they can possibly become. And every single day on YouTube, I share with you daily tips, both offensively and on defense, that can help you get better at this game. And so if you want to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to hit the subscribe button at the bottom right -hand corner of your screen. And at the end of this video, if you could give me some feedback, let me know if you liked it or didn't like it by hitting the like rating or the, or the thumbs up or the thumbs down button below. Now in this video, what I want to do is I want to share with you um, this statement that I have that I really, really buy into. And this is going to help you both in Madden 21. It's also going to help you in Madden 22 and really any area of Madden that you play in. And that is this statement that the height of cultivation always runs to simplicity. It is not daily increase, but it is daily decrease that will lead you to success. And what this video is about is basically what I want to do is I want to, I want to kind of shift a little bit. And I want to shift into this new thinking of offense and defense and schematics of Madden into a simplified version of the game. The reason I bring this up is because most people, I've been doing some research, most people really want to fight about how many plays that they call, how many formations they call, how many um, variables that there are. And I wanna take a different approach in this video. And to do this, we're gonna utilize the gun bunch. And the reason we're gonna utilize the gun bunch is the gun bunch has been one of the best formations for years in Madden 21. If you wanna get my entire gun bunch offensive guide for Madden 21, that is available in the description. And this is specifically out of the New York Jets playbook. This could you know, obviously apply to other playbooks, certainly. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna focus for just a moment on the gun bunch out of the New York Jets playbook. Now, the first thing that I wanna do is I wanna deal with, with default zone drops, primarily match coverage. Um, and the way we're gonna do this is share with you the best defense in Madden, the 3-3-5 wide. I have a guide on that as well. If you wanna get that, that's available in the description. But basically, we're gonna talk about 3-3-5 wide. And really, we're gonna start with match coverage. Now. The reason why um, I wanted to do this video is I wanted to share with you uh, this idea of the height of cultivation always runs to simplicity and why this really matters. The reason it matters is because if you're not careful, you will chase complexity over simplicity in your offense. And if you do that, it makes you very, very easy to stop. The same is true defensively. If you're not careful, you'll chase complexity as opposed to simplicity defensively. And what's gonna happen is you're gonna become very easy to manipulate as an offensive player because what, what ends up coming down is that it's very, very simple to play this game. The real core focus that we wanna focus on is execution. The only way that we can focus on execution is we have to free up our margin. We can't be thinking about everything we're gonna do pre-snap. What we wanna do is we wanna, in, we wanna basically build the muscle of repetition and execution. Repetition and execution. And the way that you do this is through basically understanding, again, field depth, coverage, where you're attacking, simplifying it down to the core reality. So what I wanna do is I wanna take the play flood and we're first gonna take this against a match coverage. So if someone runs match defense on you and you run the play flood, there's a couple of different things that are going to work out in your favor. The first thing that's going to happen is that the circle receiver is often going to get wide open. Now right here, as you see, you get a nice little swerve catch over the top. If they run match coverage, then this occurs. Okay. So what they're going to have to do is they're going to have to adjust to that. One of their adjustments might be to take that, um, that deep, safety and man him up onto the circle receiver. So as you'll see right here, I'll do just that. Well, what's gonna happen is when this out route cuts to the outside, as you see right there, the out route is now open. So that's another layer that they have to stop. They have to stop the, the fade and they have to stop the out route. This forces somebody to have to, um, this forces the defense to have to adjust. 
So what they might do is they might do something like this. They might go ahead and hot route that slot corner to a curl flat and they might still use that main coverage assignment. So if we run the play back, you'll see that the curl flat will do a pretty good job. The three red will do a pretty good job and it'll stop the out route and it'll stop the fade route. The problem is, and this is where this offense is so powerful. The problem is if they do this, then they do this, then they do this. So these are a couple different adjustments that they can do, okay? And I want you to watch what now is open. Well, now that curl flat doesn't get out there, and I can throw the tight end for about nine, seven to ten yards. So I can throw the tight end, I can throw the fade, or I can throw the out. So then you might say, well, okay, well, what if they did this adjustment? And you'll keep playing this game with yourself to the point at which your match coverage is not really a match coverage. That's where issue comes in. So essentially, this is what you come to. You come to a cloud flat, hard flat combo with man coverage on the fade route. And if you set this play up right here, literally the only adjustments we made is we put the running back on an option route. That's it, okay? And I want you just to watch what happens. Well, as you can see here, now that takes care of the right side, but we've not dealt with the back side. We've not dealt with the left side. The left side, and this is where we talk about, when, when I talk about moving through your progressions, and repetition, when you can master a play to the point of repetition, it is very, very significant because what's gonna happen is you are going to execute this very quickly. So again, you're gonna see that's the only adjustment, so those are their adjustments, okay, bam, bam, and then as you can see here, option round is wide open, is now wide open on the left side. Now, most of the time, they're going to use the middle linebacker in this defense, and so what this is gonna look like is I'm gonna take Savage, and basically what I'm gonna to have to do is I'm gonna to have to choose. Do I, go to the, do I go to this side or do I go to the right side? And oftentimes they might try to play a little trick on you. You know, they might try to do something like this, right? And as you can see, this is no longer a quarters coverage. It's actually something completely different. And so now, um, one, and this is where we talk about as an offense, you force them to do so much. And now look, bam, that out route is now open, even though there's a curl flat, a, or a, a cloud flat and a hard flat that's not zone drop so they drop to the right depth but they're not able to stop it because of spacing this is what we talk about when we talk about simplifying simplifying your offense will allow you to be able to force your defense to have to do a specific, very specific thing to stop you when you can master the five routes that you have on the field and I would even amend that and I would say six and here's why Let's say, for example, they did something like the following. Let's say they did this, and this is just a hypothetical, and I just want you to pay attention to it as a hypothetical and nothing more. But this is their defense, okay? And um, let's say, so we don't, we need, we need some, we need something over here, so we're going to put a flat zone, okay? That's their defense. When I say you have six routes, this is what I mean. So if I just step up, step up, step up, step up, step up, if there's no spy, I go. The reason this all matters is because when you use every single element of your play, it is, it is very difficult to stop a well-crafted play. If you want to learn a well-crafted play, grab the Bunch ebook. Grab, grab the Jets ebook. It's in the description of this video. You can get the entire offensive guide for 15 bucks. It will explain this. It will show you this. My point in this, in showing you this and doing this video is to try to get you to change your thinking a little bit. Instead of executing 10 to 15 plays average, let's execute one to two to maybe four plays perfect. Execution will always trump um, set, you know, ed, uh, execution will always, um, will always trump over over analyze and overthinking things you have to be able to execute your game plan so what then you do once you build and i've talked about this a lot on my channel once you've built a play like flood that is very very powerful and you really only need one adjustment to run it then you have to ask yourself the question what is the inverse of this play look like it might look something like this okay so let's say they let's say you know this is their adjustments that they're gonna do. You know, they're gonna do something, you know, like this at the end of the day. That's kind of what they're gonna do. You know, they might do that. Okay. 
So what, what might be an inverse? An inverse might be, this is just hypothetical, an inverse might be Jets Dig. In fact, Jets Dig, you literally don't have to make any adjustments to do this. This is quick snapping plays. Jets Dig, uh-oh, there's no one over the top because they did the man coverage assignment. And now I have a one-play touchdown over the top of the defense. The point of this is to get you to see that you don't need a lot of plays but what you need is you need an in-depth understanding of a couple of plays so that you can truly understand not only what does the defense have to do to stop it, what that then leaves them vulnerable to so that you can then basically do what I just did. That's how you be successful at Madden 21. You execute a simple, concise amount of plays and you anticipate shifts in, in the defense. That's it. And by making everything look identical, by making everything look exactly the same, it helps you because it forces the defense. The defense has to honor your number one play, and so it simplifies everything for you as an offense player. So anyways, I just wanted to do a quick video talking a little bit about this. I think that this can help a lot of you guys as you're putting your schemes together, even as you're learning um, schemes, as, as you're buying eBooks and doing things like that, um, what you wanna do is you wanna take it one to two plays at a time and no more. You really want to learn how to master the execution of one or two plays before you move to other things. And so if you wanna learn how I run the gun bunch, I'm gonna leave a link to the guide in the description. It breaks down the gun bunch, the bunch tight end, and the trips tight end offset, three of the most powerful formations in the entire game. And it shows you how to really be very effective with a very simple amount of plays, but they're so powerful, you don't have to have very many plays. So thanks for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. Let me know if you enjoyed this kind of video. It's a little bit different than what I normally do. And if you would like to, if you would like to learn or hear more about you know, kind of scheme formation uh, and basically kind of like play calling one-on-one, -on -one, things like that. Those are some things that I think are intangibles that most people that just pick up the game don't really understand. And even myself can fall into the trap of trying to do too much. We all can, we, we all want to run to complexity. The problem is we have to fight that and we have to focus on simplicity. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to get my complete offensive guide that kind of walks you through how to do this in an actual um, scheme format. I'm going to give you a link to that in the description. You can get that guide for just 15 bucks.